So here we're going to discuss the problem to non-negative integers x, y satisfy the equation square root x plus square root of x plus 60 equals to y then find the maximum possible value of x. First of all, let's simplify the equation by taking square to both sides of this equation. The left side of the equation is in the form of a plus b whole square which is equals to a square plus b square plus 2ab. This gives square root x square plus square root of x plus 60 square plus 2 multiplied by square root of x multiplied by x plus 60 equals to here the square root and square will cancel out to give y. This gives square root x square is x plus square root x plus 60 square is x plus 60 plus 2 multiplied by square root of x multiplied by x plus 60 is x square plus 60 x equals to y. Since both x and y are positive integers, this value is positive, this value is positive, this value is already positive and the right side of the equation y is also positive. Since each of these values is positive, this value square root of x square plus 60 x should also be a positive integer. Let's consider square root of x square plus 60 x equals to i where i belongs to the positive integers. Taking square to both sides of this equation gives x square plus 60 x equals to i square which we can write as x square plus 2 multiplied by 30 multiplied by x equals to i square. In order to make this value a perfect square, we have to add 30 square to both sides of this equation. This value is equals to x plus 30 square. This gives x plus 30 square equals to i square plus 900, which we can write as x plus 30 square minus i square equals to 900. The left side of the equation is in the form of a square minus b square which is equals to a plus b multiplied by a minus b. This gives x plus 30 plus i multiplied by x plus 30 minus i equals to 900. Since both x and i belongs to the positive integers, this value is a positive integer and on the right side also we have a positive integer. Hence x plus 30 minus i should also be positive integer so that their product gives a positive integer which is 900. Now we have to find the maximum possible value of x. x will be maximum when x plus 30 plus i is maximum and x plus 30 minus i is minimum so that their product is equals to 900. Hence the possible values are x plus 30 plus i equals to 900 and x plus 30 minus i equals to 1 and x plus 30 plus i equals to 450 and x plus 30 minus i equals to 2 and so on. Now we will verify which of these values gives a positive integer value of x. In the first case we have x plus 30 plus i equals to 900 and x plus 30 minus i equals to 1. Adding these two equations gives 2x plus 60 equals to 901 which gives x equals to 901 minus 60 divided by 2 
which is equals to 420.5 which is not an integer hence we can neglect the first case now let's move to the second case which is x plus 30 plus i equals to 450 and x plus 30 minus i equals to 2 adding the two equations gives 2x plus 60 equals to 452 which gives x equals to 452 minus 60 divided by 2 which is equals to 196 which is a positive integer hence the second case satisfy the condition for the maximum value of x hence the maximum possible value of x is equals to 196 this is our answer